Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Motorcycle Rescuer and this is Motorcycle Rescuer. So yes, welcome back to the channel. Um, some shout outs. Uh, some of you guys have been brilliant this week with the um, with the Lex motor over there, the wiring stuff. I think Derek, uh, you in particular, have been breaking it right down for me and it's stuff that I can actively do today, you know. Um, Carl, you've, you've offered some support. Um, who else? I'm terrible with names guys, but a bunch of you have been writing lists of stuff to try and that's brilliant I need that stuff. I'm so bad with wiring. I normally get there in the end But it could take weeks and when you guys are suggesting things including teaching me how to use a multimeter um, That that is um, you know Absolutely perfect spot on because I need all of that um, And of course I can always talk to um, Nat who I think would also agree he probably uh, I don't know actually how Matt is with wiring I, he, I think he's probably similar with me but we can ask him later or we can put it in the comments and then uh, we got access to so many people through this community this channel and the Facebook page and, and the Facebook page is it's not this channel the Facebook page is our community it's about the people who love these old crap abandoned Chinese bikes and, and any other old crap abandoned bikes um, so please feel free to join that page. We, we, we're very, we keep it simple there guys. It's a nice, polite, positive page. That's it. Discuss your bikes. Offer your bike for sale. That's all fine. But we keep it clean. We keep it positive. Um, also, of course, um, a big shout out to the members of the YouTube channel. I have to be honest, guys. I have no idea how I know who a member is I can see in the comments that you'll have a an icon next to your name so I know two or three of you um, but I, I don't know anyone else so I'm gonna I'm gonna get online and see if I can figure out how to find my member list uh, and the truth is you don't get much in return for being a member in, in this channel I think it's 2 99 a month and, mm -hmm. and you get a little icon next to your name but you're not getting much in return so you're supporting the channel to function as it is and that's you know I can't thank you enough for that um, I was thinking about someone called Bertie Bodget not long ago because I was thinking about the bikes and, and, and the um, progress and he's got a channel called Bertie Bodget and it's so underrated I think he's got four or five hundred subs um, he knows his stuff guys if, if, if you're watching channels right now go off mine write in Bertie Bodget and you'll see the guy. Not only is he lovely, Carl, he's brilliant with bikes. Um, he he don't mess around with patching up these Chinese bikes. He strips them down. He resprays the frames. He creates rock solid Chinese bikes when he's doing Chinese bikes, and that you know that's commendable massively because uh, people don't take the time to do that. So get on there, have a look at his channel. It's a really lovely channel. Let's get him up to the thousand mark. Let's boost his confidence so that he continues to make them. And let's get back to our little song test. I'm gonna give the, um, the wiring and stuff a miss, um, just probably for today. Um, I wanna look at this song test. It's probably the next sale, um, so we need to get this done. Main thing it needs is a rear tire and probably a rear back panel, although it wouldn't hurt. You could paint that black and you'd get away with it. Uh, and ultimately it runs and rides, but it cuts out. Now, once the choke's off, it, it, it just kind of, it just kind of, pew, um, I said that last week, and it, because it's not actually kind of cutting out, it's hard to explain. It's, well, as in it's not fading out, it is actually cutting out. That, that's what's happening, it's kind of, it's cutting out. Um, as if it's missing a spark at that point. So, for me, it's not anything to do up there. I sprayed all up there. I thought that there might be a bit of extra air getting in, and there wasn't, or I don't think there was. So, I don't think it is that. I think it's probably spark plug. 
I think this bike has probably gone over on its side at some point. I think that's fairly safe to say. Uh, maybe the spark plug got wet and it was never pulled out and cleaned, for example. Uh, on top of that, side stand switches, they're just too touchy on any bike, let alone Chinese. I cut them and I wire them, I, just, I, I do that for peace of mind. And the last thing for me is the valves. We saw recently how bad the valves can be. I can't particularly hear these valves. That means they're tight. They may not be over tight, they may be normal. But um, if you can't hear them, I, I actually like to hear a little ticking in a valve, if I'm being honest, guys. So I know they're a touch looser than they should be. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to cut all the switches, clutch and side stand, clean the spark plug, um, check the valves, check the oil level, um, because I can't, in this window, I can't see it. Now, it could be over full, and if it's over full, then it, it could be riding the cylinder a little bit and fouling the spark plug, but saying that, you would see smoke, so I don't know, but I think it is a little bit high because I think that's over the window there. So I may drop a little bit of oil. And that's kind of what I'm looking at today. I am going to strip it a little bit. Get, get these side panels off. Strip it a little bit. Just so that we can really get in there and see what we're working with. But I want to keep the tank on so that we can run it. If we were being, you know, smart now. Popping the spark plug, cleaning it and trying it again would be first port of call. And actually I should do that. So let's pop the spark plug. Let's clean it. Let's get it back in and let's see if that has solved the issue. So if we start with the basics when we're looking at this kind of issue, a bike that runs and rides quite well but just has that little idling problem, especially with a bike that's not carbed. Um, looking at the spark plug is one thing. Now I've cleaned this up a touch and I've adjusted the gap a little bit. I think the gap is probably still a touch big. Um, this is an Iradium um, plug. I'm not a huge fan of them on, on low level bikes, if I'm being honest. I think just the old originals are better. Um, the problems could have started when this went in. So I think I'll be throwing in an, um, you know, an N NGK original one. Uh, I'll try this, I've regapped it, but ultimately, yeah. Also, there's a lot of fake ones of these online that aren't t tested properly or built properly. The other thing at this stage I would personally do, if it does come undone, I would take the end of the lead off, snip it, re-screw re in this to make sure you've got a good connection. On the coil side, do the same thing and clean the wires to make sure we're all good to go. So they're kind of the first things I would be doing now with this kind of issue. Okay, so simple spark plug um, fix there. Uh, well, fix, clean, uh, snip the, the lead, and um, that's it. Now, it's gonna take a couple of minutes. When the choke's on, it doesn't seem to be as much of an issue. But uh, let's just see if we've made any progress with that very simple clean of the spark plug. I think the choke went off really quick there because it's in the sun, it's been warming up. So I think the choke went off there really quite quickly. Um, this is how we'll know now if, how it seems. And you'll hear it when it cuts, it's a real, it kind of, it does that sound, I keep doing that kind of sound. I, I think it sounds much better to me already. Um, and actually, I technically I can hear the, the tappets a little bit.
seems much better. What I'm going to do over the next couple of hours is keep starting it. Um, I'm actually going to take it for a quick spin now. I'll throw on the GoPro, but it hasn't been working. It's been filming the runs, but when I come to convert it to video, it hasn't been doing that. It's been letting me make the little um, edited ones, but it hasn't been letting me just upload the ride. So hopefully you did see that um, test run there. It um, it did cut out. It didn't. It wasn't a sudden cut out this time, which is which is something that's good. It was a um, like the idle was low. So I'm going to adjust the idle on this um, from the actual uh, injector system down here just a little bit and see if that solves our problem. Uh, my guess is that it will. It just kind of just just. Idled a tiny bit too low. Um, although saying that, what are we idling at currently? Two and a half. So, I mean, technically it should be high enough. Oh, hang on. Ah, yes. So I think if we nip the idle a tiny little bit, it should actually be okay. Uh, the other thing I want to do is clean the air filter, just check that there's no splits in it, no extra air going in. And then when it's cooler much later, um, you have to, when you do the valves, you have to do them when cold. So uh, we'll go over the valves when it's cold later. Because at the moment I'm not hugely worried about it, it's doing the thing. And, and the last owner said, it's fine when you're in gear anyway, it's when you come up to a light and clutch in, it just kind of lowers too much. Um, etc so I'm not overly worried about it but let me um, adjust the idle a tiny bit and see if it makes a difference at the moment it will idle on its own here but once you're going through the gears and the motions it just kind of dips a bit lower than it wants and cuts out so what appears to be happening here is here's the actual throttle system okay now there is a closing position which that it's not currently on um, so the throttle body can close all the way up and when it closes all the way up this bike should still idle and and what what me and others have been trying to do is adjust the idle from the cable which is exactly what is happening right now and that's not the right way to do it it should be able to fully close and still idle um, and the only reason it wouldn't is because something else isn't right there might be some sort of secondary system so that so you can hear it now that's fully closed now actually saying that right okay I've just figured something out at the moment I've been trying to idle it on the throttle 
if you look behind there, I don't know if you can see it or not, there, up at the top, is a, uh, so it's very hard to see, is a adjustment screw, it's tiny. Okay, so we can close the, the level of the throttle plate. That's part of what's going wrong at this stage. I need to adjust the idle from the plate from there, not from the cable. All right, that's, that's okay. What I'll do is I'll pop the cable off for now. Um, just give all this a spray. It's all a little bit, I mean, it's, it's fine. It just doesn't feel, you know, 100%. Give it all a spray, all clean, and then get it adjusted from there. Get your baseline set from there, and I think it's gonna be much better. Why I'm here though, in the filter, get it out, spray it through, clean it, get it back in after when it's dry. Check all these extra connections here. That's the crankcase breather going in to there. Check that there's nothing kind of obvious, no holes in here. There's a hole at the bottom, there normally is. That's a drip hole. Uh, and we'll see how clean this filter is. I'm sure it's fine. If someone's put a high flow filter in there, that would make sense that it's causing issues. You'd go back to original, but I think it will just be it's original. Uh, any obvious splits or tears anywhere? I did do a spray test, so you would kind of know actually uh, with the spray test, so there's not, but back here. We'll have a look. We'll adjust the um, idle from there, then we're not adjusting it from the cable, because remember, the cable stretches. Um, it's very hard to get it set, so I, I think we've got this already, guys.